Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna talk about five file management sins. Remember, this week it's all about file management, so let's fire it up. The first thing on my list is this, working on a beat for hours without saving. Now, I've gone to many studios, big and small, and they've been working on beats all day. I'm talking, they took lunch breaks, the beat has been open for eight plus hours, and now when I go to save the session because I'm about to do some work in that DAW, now the DAW is asking me to save for the first time. Like it's asking me to title the file slash project. Now, as powerful as these computers are, I don't trust them to not lose my data. The software could crash or you could have a brownout or a blackout, which can cause you to lose hours of work. So as soon as you start a project, save it, give it a title, and then afterwards, keep saving often. The second item on my list is that you save the file, but you don't know where you save the file, which means the software knows where the file is, but you don't. So if something changes on your system, the software may lose the address of your files, which can happen if you have an OS update or if the software itself did an update. You won't be able to locate the files. I touched on this a little bit in Tuesday's video, which you can watch if you click right here, but I'm gonna keep saying it. Know where your files are being saved. It is very important. That brings me to the third sin, which I also mentioned in Tuesday's video, and that's saving on your system drive. By default, this is usually your C drive. See, your system drive is where your operating system is installed. So it's always working as the OS is always using it in the background. It's creating log files and doing many different things. So it is almost always spinning. Okay, I know a lot of you may have solid state drives now, but when you need to take your work on the road, it is much easier to just grab an external hard drive with all your work already on it. Just grab it and go. So just save your work to an external drive. Anything that you create is unique and hopefully special, so save it to an external. The fourth sin is no backup. Like really, no backup? W what are you doing? Are you serious? I'd be losing my mind just thinking any day now, my drive can just crash, causing me to lose years of work. So in addition to saving to an external, also back up your stuff to another drive. Look into RAID drives for redundancy and also look into cloud storage. I got a quick story. Once I bought a shiny new external hard drive for backup purposes. I dumped all my data on it and one month later, I needed some files from it. But surprise, surprise, the drive crashed. It was still under warranty, so I called the company and they said they'll send me a new one. And I'm like, a new one? What about my data? What about all the stuff I just lost? And the customer service rep said, sir, you're responsible for backing up your own files. Then I said, that was the backup. And then the phone went silent for like 10 seconds, which felt like an eternity. And then she said, you The fifth sin is no incremental saving. So it's good that you're now saving and that you're saving to an external, but a project goes through different iterations, right? That's a part of the creative process. It goes through different steps and you wanna leave a path back to each one of those steps. So for example, when you're done recording your vocals and you're now getting ready to do some editing, some cleanup of the audio, go to save as, give it the name of the song and then put an underscore and put edit or put cleanup and then another underscore and then put the day's date. 
So now when you get to pitch correction, you do the same thing. You go save as, you give the song title, underscore, pitch correction, underscore, then the date. Sometimes when I'm mixing a song over multiple days, every day I open it, I will rename it with the song title and today's date. So if I need to go back two days ago, I can easily do that. So please start considering these file management tips. If you don't practice good file management, someone may, they may call you to purchase your composition and you will lose out on that opportunity because you may have lost those files due to poor file management. Okay guys, join me tomorrow for Fun Fact Friday as I wrap up this week of videos dealing with file management. Thanks for checking out this video, and as always, you'll see me in the next video.